Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and um, I wanted to show you as we do this um, cover kit, I use the Rangers Pearl, Liquid Pearls Dimensional Pearlescent Paint. This is white opal and um, I got mine on Amazon but you can get it, you know, probably a lot of places. And I went ahead and I used the pearl paint, hope, hope you can see it, on this. You can maybe see the difference between the two. And I, um, I did the best I could, you know, it's kind of fine lines, but I don't think it hurt anything, you know, that I wasn't exactly perfect. I think that, uh, it still looks good, shows the detail of the gate. And so I thought I would go ahead and do a little bit here while you guys are watching. So um, I'll speed this up because it, it's kind of a slow process. But before I speed it up, I want you to see kind of how slow it is. Um, and it did take, I, f I felt like it took probably, I don't know, maybe a third or a half of this bottle to do one gate. So it does take quite a little bit of this. It's really cool though. It has this fine tip on it. If I can get it, there it is, okay. And it's stiff enough to Kind of move it around if you need to if it's not exactly where you need it to be and so on so i just kind of kept moving it if it wasn't like i would get it out there and then kind of flatten it out with the tip i don't think it's important that you get a perfectly round bead on it it just needs to be shiny it needs to be you get the pearl pearlized effect so on this fat part here, I'm just kind of messing with it and dragging it out with the tip. You can also use a paintbrush with it, it says on the bottle, um, but I didn't want to, sometimes paintbrushes just pick up too much of this kind of paint and it, they get all globby and you end up wasting a bunch of it because you have to wipe your brush off to get any sort of a fine tip. So I thought I was better off just using this application tip that comes with it and spreading it out like that. So, uh, so then some of the fine detail, I did take a paper towel and wipe off the tip of it every so often when I needed a fine tip. But, um, kind of kept it moving, oops, <laughs> kept it moving on those finer parts as much as I could. Got that a little heavy, so I'm just going to move it around where I need some, and I think it'll be fine. Um, shout out to Beverly Groom. She's the one that found this stuff. I didn't know about it. And she had showed it, shown it to me before I even thought about doing this gate project. And so when I did this gate project, and I'm like, gosh, I want it to be pearly gates. Wonder what I could use. And I was thinking about using pearlized paint. And then I remembered this, and I'm loving it. I think this was just the perfect application for it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this gate and I will speed up this video so you can, you won't have to sit here while I do this whole intricate thing. <laughs>
Okay, so as you can see, I made a few boo-boos, <laughs> like right in here. Actually, I missed a place. Um, but I don't think it hurts it at all. I think it still looks, overall, when you look at it, it looks just like filigree, you know, gay. And so I think it's pretty forgiving of mistakes and things like that. So anyway, something to try, and I I thought it was fun. It, I'll have to say, though, it does hurt your hand. <laughs> I did this... I did this last evening and then I'm just now doing this and my hand is still not kind of recovered from <laughs> doing this one. So it, it is, uh, you might want to take your time and not try to do it as quickly as I did. But um, anyway, that's that. And I'll show you the next part in just a little bit.